Well, well, well. It's uh, it's been a little bit. Oh fuck! I forgot I was holding a microphone. It's been a little bit. Um, <laughs> I made a video like out of nowhere, just saying like I'm back. I'm gonna be doing this. What's going on, Dexter? He's a bit unsure of what's going on. So I made a video and I said like, yeah, I'm back, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, gonna do all these videos and all this bullshit and nothing happened. But today we are here so that I can do my Royal Rumble predictions for 2024. I don't know, there's only four matches announced so far, which I think is all right. Like. Having the two Royal Rumbles now, I think that having not, like, other matches is so necessary. Like, having, you know, a couple is alright, but, like, you don't want to overdo it. Like, you want to give time to the Rumbles and and make the Rumbles good. Uh, so, I asked my two mates, Risky and Jaden, to uh, send in their predictions. And Risky sent me a video. Jaden sent me his just through Messenger, so I'll read his out, and I'll show Chris's videos. Um, but, yeah, so I thought us three, you know, we might as well guess who's gonna fucking win these four matches, and also one surprise entrant. All right, so yesterday when I was filming, I thought about how I listened to a podcast called the BLT podcast, and they sometimes talk about wrestling, so I thought, fuck it, I'm going to send them a DM and just say, boys, any chance you can send me through a quick video of your predictions, and I really didn't think I was going to get anything, and then I got out of work last night, and Blake Pavey has sent me a video of his predictions so we're going to start the video off with this and then um we're going to go into me risky and Jaden's predictions after this so thanks blake for this it really really means a lot it's really cool and um you can tell i've i've just woken up and i'm trying to get this edit done so What's up? It's Blake from the BLT Pod here. I got my Rumble predictions for this Sunday. It's going to be a massive day. Uh, women's Rumble. Bailey's going to take it out, no questions asked, and because uh, they're going to do the damage control turn on her, then they feud into WrestleMania storyline. Bailey's going to win that Rumble. My surprise return, I think, is going to be probably Michelle McCool because I heard she's going to be there anyway. So I think she'll enter the Rumble. Then for the men's Rumble, I think the final four are going to be Punk, Rhodes, Gunther, Drew McIntyre with Sam Punk taking it out, eliminating Cody as the final entrant. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be the Rumble winner. Surprise entrant, I think Brock Lesnar is going to come back at some point to set up the Gunther-Brock feud. And then... Matt Cardona, Zack Ryder, is going to return as the fun entrant. I reckon he's going to make a return and go with Chelsea Green going into the next couple of months. So, uh, yeah, they're my Rumble predictions. Cannot wait to be right. Yes! Alrighty, so first match is Kevin Owens and Logan Paul for the US title. I think Logan might do something a little bit dodgy to win the match because, like, I just can't see him, like, just getting just a clean win over Kevin Owens. But... I think that, um, that the, <laughs> sorry, I just, uh, I just glitched for a second. Um, I just, I just think that, um, I think that Logan Paul is going to bring the US title over to Australia for the Elimination Chamber. So, and I think that like, you know, like you put, put the belt on, on um Kevin Owens and it's like what what's it matter like you know like he's he's a a world heavyweight championship pers person you know it, it seems like they just sort of need something for him to do so um here is uh here is Risky's prediction
ASMR. Shortbread. Cream. Let's get into it. Kevin Owens versus Logan Paul for the United States Championship. I think Logan Paul is going to win this. I think if anyone's going to take that title off him, it's going to be LA Knight. Yeah! That was a bit cringe, but... Does it sound like ASMR? Alright, so Jaden has picked uh, Logan Paul as well. I'm not going to say that I'm not interested in, in like, you know, all the women's matches and stuff like that, but I'm not exactly jumping at the TV to fucking watch the matches. Um, I just... I don't know. <laughs> I just said... Sometimes it just doesn't interest me. And I think that, you know... Rhea Ripley, world champ, or women's world champ already. Couldn't even tell you who is Eo Sky. Is she the 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 women's uh, uh, SmackDown women's champion? Fuck, I don't even know the names. Um, so like you know, these predictions are a pretty just. I'm just taking a stab in the dark. Um, I'm going to say Becky Lynch. It just seems like we just cannot get rid of her as to like, she just has to win everything. If Charlotte Flair wasn't injured, she'd probably fucking win it. It's either one of them two, unless we see Sasha Banks return, um, uh, which, which, wait, I wouldn't, wouldn't put a past WWE, like, you know, they got Punk. They got fucking, uh, <laughs> they got, uh, you know, like Cody Rhodes, fucking like, you know, like all these people have sort of come back since, since probably she left. I don't know if she was there when Cody was there, but you know, like all these people have like come back since she's left. So I think that like, it'd be fitting for her to come back. So, um, and Jaden... Who did Jaden pick? So Jaden picked Becky as well. I think it's just a generic answer. And I think, you know, like it's, I don't like Becky at all. So it's good. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't care who wins the belt. Um, I really hope Rio just holds on to the belt for a long ass time. This is who Risky picked. Now I'm gonna, st I'm telling you guys, I haven't watched Risky's video before um, making my part, so <laughs> I don't know what you guys are seeing, but <laughs> I'm assuming it'll be something funny. Um, it, did, it did say it went for like two minutes, and he's he's eating into a microphone. Is <laughs> is all I'm seeing, so. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are seeing, but hopefully Risky has provided some funny content for y'all. And uh, but yeah, this is his women's uh, Royal Rumble prediction. What else was there? Ah, uh, Becky Lynch is going to win the women's Royal Rumble. They were setting up that. It looked like they were setting up that feud on Raw, from what I saw. So either that or they're going to build to Elimination Chamber and then Rhea Ripley's gonna take on like Trish Stratus or some shit. Um Um so I was just reading the uh message from Jaden and it actually says that he picked Kevin Owens. My eyes are just I'm blind like not <laughs> not blind but like I'm blind, you know? So reading the laptop just from here, I've got the laptop like just you know, 50 centimeters away from me, and I cannot read the screen, but I thought it said Logan, but it says Owens, so I take back what I said before about, about Jaden picking uh, Logan Paul. All right, now we're going to move on to the main, main, main event. 
Uh, we've got the WWE Royal Rumble 2024. The big one. Who's going to win it? We've got Punk. We've got Cody. We've got... <laughs> <laughs> uh, we <laughs> we got Sami Zayn. We got <laughs> fuck. I'm so lost on the spot. Um, but there's there's a lot of people that could win it. All right, so like CM Punk, definitely a chance. Um, <clears throat> Cody Rose, definitely a chance. You can never rule out Brock Lesnar. Um, <sighs> who else? I feel like the mania is going to be Rock Roman, Cody, Punk, and uh, Seth and Gunther. I think Sam Punk is going to win the Royal Rumble. Because CM Punk is back. And that means CM Punk is going to win the Royal Rumble. Cody ain't finishing that story unless you win in that elimination chamber. You know what I'm saying? Which reveals my prediction of Gunther winning. Gunther winning the 2020... <laughs> no, he said 2014. I mean 2024 Royal Rumble. I think he's going to win it. Um, I think that Cody and uh, CM Punk is still a mad match. Um, and I think that like Gunther just needs to just run through Seth Rollins, just kill him. And not literally, but you know, and just, just hold both belts and just keep holding the IC belt. Or... Maybe even do what like Joe did, where he, nah, don't don't just relinquish it. Just hold on to it, and just keep just 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 keep getting the days up. Uh, so Jaden has picked Cody Rhodes to win this one. Um, definitely a not a stupid prediction. Uh. Cody Rhodes, you know, needs to finish the story. Um, but The Rock coming back sort of like threw everything out of whack. Like, just, if The Rock never returned, we all would have just went, Cody's probably going to win or, 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 or Punk's going to win um, and he'll verse Rollins. Then we'll have Cody and... and um, Roman Reigns again, and now The Rock's just like, nah, I'm the head of the table. All right, so I told the boys to give me one person of just like a surprise entrance, and I wasn't really sure if they were going to go with funny or serious. Um, Jaden has hit us with Andrade, uh, which I definitely think is a possibility. He's just left AEW on good terms, on good terms. Um, obviously, Charlotte's his wife at WWE. And, you know, I could definitely see him coming back. But I could also see him having a little bit more time off, obviously, while she's injured. Um, so, he's predicting that he's coming back in the Rumble. But I... I don't think he will. And I think Gangrel is going to be in a surprise entrant into the Royal Rumble. That theme music is too good to waste. Bring him back. He can still go. I guarantee you he can still go. Truly a fucking... Truly a talent of our, of our time. I think severely underrated. I think if you go back and watch a couple Gangrel matches... You're going to find some good shit. Anyway. <laughs> so then we've got my great prediction. Uh, this one's just for a bit of fun. Definitely not going to happen. But I thought, fuck it. Let's throw the big man in. The great Carly 
making his 2024 return. And, you know, he just has to return for the Rumble, come in, eliminate one or two people, get thrown out. Bam, you've... The great Carl Lee's back. I don't know. It would just be... It would just be fun. You know? We just... We love the great Carl Lee. Um, and here is Risky's 2024 prediction. Alright, so that's the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, I'm still trying to get used to this. I did it for fucking years. And now it feels really weird. So... I'm trying to get used to it again, and um, I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we will. So if I'm if I'm a bit awkward, I'm sorry. Um, I, I don't know, don't know what to say. Um, but yeah, so if you guys do like the video, give it a little thumbs up, and um, give me your predictions below of the four matches and the one surprise entrance. Um, go as silly as possible in the entrance and um, You know a boy can wish or girl or them or <laughs> I Don't know um, Thank you guys for watching subscribe. Thank you to Jaden. Thank you to risky um, and Definitely expect more content with um, hopefully both of them in the, in the future. I definitely know Risky really wants to do some content. So, um, and we'll see if we can try and get Jaden a little bit more on board. I don't know where he's at. Um, you know, he's obviously living life. So, but it's still good to be in touch and, and, um, you know, we have a group chat that goes off every day. And, you know, I think we've, we've known each other for, it's like, it's coming up on like, uh, like, the, uh, like 13 years, maybe 12, 13 years. It's fucking wild that we are still friends and we met on fucking YouTube. So thank you guys for watching. Um subscribe and the videos are only going to get better um i'm just trying to get used to it all so thank you guys for watching i love you all and i'll see you guys next time